This is Pex, Beginner's Guide of Neo, Chapter 6, Spirit Nest Castle. So we're going to be running into these two revenants. So the best way to uh, finding them without being ganged up on, just basically have them lure here, have them jump, and then uh, take out one of them as quick as you can, and then just repeat the process. So once taking out one of them out, uh, it wouldn't be a problem taking out the other one. Alright, and then we're just going to be climbing up here. Looting this corpse first, and then we're going to keep climbing up. Uh, there is going to be a spider waiting for us. Uh, so no problem, just uh, keep attacking it. It's a low stance. And uh, gonna be jumping down here. Hit this torch because there is a revenant with a bow just up, up that tower. So just take him out. And then we're gonna be fighting this giant spider that is uh, guarding the door. So, first thing, just lure him out. Uh, safest way, just climb up this tower. And then use your matchlock to take it out. Uh, unfortunately, I miss, so you need to have great timing on shooting it because uh, you might not find much ammo when, on uh, matchlock or any other ammo. Uh, so, unfortunately, he's too close to me, so I'm just gonna wait, wait it out for him to walk away or crawl away. So, yeah, he doesn't have feet, he has like giant legs, and apparently, he's going to the far right for no reason. I don't know why. So it was just uh, a little annoying trying to have him lure here. I thought just instantly dropping he would just come right at me but it did not work. So I'm just gonna drop down, wait for a couple of seconds, immediately climb up. There was a mini spider right there but that's not nothing to worry about. So just keep uh, defeating it with the match lock. And unfortunately, I was out, and then just uh, take it out with the cannon. And there you go. That is the safest way of defeating the giant spider. Uh, there are other ways of taking out this giant spider. You could use the sloth and the weakness to take it out, but it does take a lot of time to use the magic on it. And the spider is very fast to attack and can instantly kill you if it grabs you. Uh, you can also just like climb up the tower, use the sloth and weakness from there, climb down and then take it out uh, just by attacking it instead of using a match lock. But anyway, uh, so now we're just going to be finding these mini spiders right here just to gain some emerita and also to fill up our living weapon gauge. Boring this spider after looting this corpse. So for some weird reason, the bolt uh, when going near here, the boulder should have eventually uh, come down, but it did not. So that was weird for me. Uh, it might have worked for you, uh, but if it if you were lucky enough to not to have the boulder hit you, uh, it's a good opportunity to just wave dash past here. Just watch out for the Lilikatong uh, yokai. Uh, just jump, jump down this tree, uh, house. Uh, jump down here. Uh, go to the left. Make another left. And fight this revenant. And then I actually only awaken uh, one of the mini spiders. Usually the mini spiders are coming from eggs. So just avoid uh, hitting them if you don't want to uh, fight them. Alright, so we're going to be fighting the next giant spider that is guarding this gate. So we're just going to use Kikai and Carnage real quick. And then you can use Living Weapon on either your Kintana or your Duel. 
and I just use it uh, the katana because it's very quicker to uh, use some slashes on the giant spider and that should take care of it all right so we're gonna be getting the key and an unlock here and we're gonna be getting one more gate key so we we're gonna lure out the spider and uh, attack it but fortunately there was a remnant right behind me so uh, just go past this gate uh, lure one, the remnant here uh, luckily the spider doesn't come past the gate alright and we're just gonna be doing this again lure the spider here and I don't know why it's attacking there because it might think I'm right there but yeah so we're just gonna attack the spider there you go and then we're gonna be going right here past this door there is a yokai guarding this corpse within that corpse there is the final gate key that we need uh, just wave dash out of there um, you could use the travel amulet to go back to the near shrine if you want to do that quickly uh, but if you don't want to use a travel amulet or out of travel amulet uh, just uh, use matchlock or a bow and arrow and just lure this spider towards you and then just attack it then go to the left and then there's a gate right there unlock it and then after the gates unlock to your left is the shrine so yeah, you can use the shrine uh, to replenish your uh, Omeo magic or your health if you have taken any damage. And we're just going to be finding these spiders again. Alright, so that now finally triggered the Lickitung Yokai to throw the boulder. Just get out of the way. And then uh, just being prepared. Uh, just wave dash past all the enemies here again. And then you're actually going to this time go to the left. Uh, just run up this hill. And then use the final gate key to open this gate. And then we're actually going to use this uh, shrine to level up our character here. Alright, so when we go to level up, we're going to increase our skill by 1 and our magic by 2. Just uh, giving a confirm and alright, there you go. I uh, don't need to go to skill set or anything else. Just exit out and then just come up to this hill. There is a hot wheel yokai right there. Just watch out, go to the right and then uh, a there is uh, this remnant I was going to shoot. Luckily I got blocked. Luckily I blocked it and just take it out. And then to avoid fighting this Hot Wheel Yokai, just go to the right. Keep going to the right. Luckily that egg did not have a mini spider there. And just wait a few seconds for the Hot Wheel Yokai to go away. And then we're just going to loot this corpse. This corpse has like a weapon. Sometimes they'll drop a dual wield or any weapon that uh, you would see necessary. Spear axe, katana, whichever. So we're going to go back in uh, this castle and then we're going to switch to the hand cannon and we're going to use this hand cannon to take out this giant remnant. Uh, and if you have the uh, like high caliber ammo, uh, it would be useful against it. And then we're going to lure this spider out. And just uh, keep hitting it. Uh, it will fall that's fine you don't need to chase it just uh, you can use that opportunity to get to the boss uh, alright and now we're gonna switch to dual wheel uh, use Kekai use Carnage cover our dual wheel with water and then when the battle starts we're gonna be immediately using the sloth and uh, you're gonna expect to get hit if you have high enough armor you should be able to take it then use the weak talisman, uh, switch the high stance, run behind her, hit her once, 
and then she'll go to a fetal position and then use a uh, water sword uh, just dodge within a couple of seconds of using the water sword and then now just constantly using the water sword I thought that, that finished her off but now it did so if you have done this step correctly congratulations you have defeated the spider queen Alright, we're just gonna go into our uh, inventory, check up our weapons, our armor, and uh, if you have any prestige points, I recommend using them before ending the mission. Uh, if not, you can also do it after the mission, whichever works for you. Alright, and then uh, we're gonna go to the blacksmith, restock our ammo, buy some weapons and armor if necessary for you. Uh, also, we're just gonna disassemble and reforge our weapons. Uh, again, uh, for the tip for disassembling your weapon, I recommend disassembling weapons that have a couple of items. That way you have a quicker way of restocking items to reforge. And ask for tips to reforge your items. Reforge uh, the special, uh, any of the special effects uh, that could redeem useful for you in your upcoming missions and future missions as well. Alright, and we're just going to go to the offering, uh, sell whatever remaining uh, items we have for Emerita, and we're just going to go to uh, level up, and we are going to increase, I believe, uh, yeah, we're going to increase our body by 2 and our magic by 1, and then we're just going to go to our skill set this time, uh, actually before that, <laughs> go to ready jutsu. Uh, switch water to fire because our next box not that our next boss is a uh, ice type boss and it's weak against fire obviously and then we go to the skill set go to dual sword we're gonna go to key pulse earth mind's eye and then living water earth so just unlock those three and then you should be all set and on the next video, we're going to be going to the next mission, which is the uh, Falling Snow. And we'll be fighting against the Ice Princess. Alright, we're going to be finding all the Kodamas and the Spirit Nest Castle. So once again, this is on a New Game Plus file that you're seeing. So, uh, we're going to find the first Kodama by just uh, climbing up here. Uh, just jump down here and just go to where the tower is. And then right behind the tower, you'll find your first Kodama. For the next Kodama, I'm going through this route just in case if you hadn't unlocked the gate, or if you're doing this uh, during uh, uh, the main uh, mission that you're doing, instead of completing it. Uh, yeah, so just pass, wave dash all these enemies, uh, go to this house, and you'll find the next Kurokai to the right of the house. Alright, so for the next, so, uh, shoot, I meant Kodama, sorry. Kodamas. So for the next Kodama, just jump down here and then you'll find the next Kodama right here. On, on the left side of the house right there. Uh, so uh, wave dash to the left, make another left, go to the right, make another right. And then uh, you'll see this house right here, go to the right and it's on the left side of the house where you'll find the next Kodama. So when you go past this gate, uh, fortunately there's uh, an enemy there, I'm going to quickly take it out. Uh, so yeah, just go down, take a left, take another left, then go immediately to the right, go all the way down, then go to the right, and you'll find the next Konama hidden underneath, I believe, some boxes.
going to be going right where we have found the third final uh, gate key where that yokai was. So just uh, giving out the lo specific location. There's a hot spring there if you need to recover your health. Alright, so just go to the left, go to the right, past this door. There is a hole here that you can jump into. Just be careful, there's a couple of spiders here. And uh, be careful on jumping down as well. There's a bunch of eggs that have little uh, spiders. So keep going, go to the right, and you'll find the next Kodama right there. The next one, just keep going uh, straight here. Uh, and then you'll find this ladder. Climb up all the way up. It's a long climb. And then immediately go to the left. Go to another left. And then go through here, and then on to the right, you'll find the next Kodama. So keep going to the left, keep going down, go to another left where you see a uh, web floor. Uh, just be careful. There are some eggs there that have mini spiders. So just keep going. Uh, so we're actually gonna keep going up to where the uh, where we unlock the final gate key. And then uh, just go all the way to the left side of the castle. Go all the way down here. Just be careful. Bunch of eggs, bunch of mini spiders. Then you'll find uh, this Kodama right here. Alright, so for the final Kodama, uh, just walk up these stairs, or wave dash up these stairs. Let's go to the left. Go to the right, jump down here, keep going down. Uh, climb up this ladder. Go to the right, and then your last Kodama will be right here in this corner, and congratulations, you have found all the Kodamas. So let's just uh, jump, or just go to the ladder right here to be safe. Uh, there's a shrine right there that you can use, and we're going to check our blessings by going to the left on the shrine menu, and we're just going to check how many uh, Kodamas are there in each blessing. And uh... Hope this video has helped you.